Hong Kong is a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China, formed by Hong Kong Island, the southern part of the Kowloon Peninsula, and the New Territories, which include the North Mainland area. The Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception was built in 1910. In the morning of Holy Thursday, the Chrism Mass is celebrated by Cardinal John Tong Hon and Cardinal Joseph Zen Zen Kiun, with the participation of more than 200 priests. The latest period we are living now is a period of restriction, of heavy restriction. Since Xi Jinping came to power, he has begun a very hard policy of restrictions under the title of Chineseization. That is, all religions must become Chinese, especially those from outside. There are 12 million Catholics in China. The majority are the believers in the Catholic Church loyal to the Holy See, usually called underground, clandestine or non-official. On the 22nd of September 2018 in Beijing, the Holy See and the People's Republic of China signed a provisional agreement whose text has been kept secret. Previously, on the 8th of September 2018, the Holy See recognized seven Chinese bishops consecrated without a papal mandate from the official or patriotic church ruled by the government. The agreement between the Vatican and China is secret, but it is said to regard only the choice of bishops. But now, the people of the government go and oblige the faithful to sign and give their names to enroll in the patriotic church as they maintain that the Pope has already agreed. But from what Cardinal Filoni says in one article of his, the Pope has not yet given his consent. And then they are using this agreement to cheat the people. It is really persecution. They go personally. And if a priest does not give his name to the Patriotic Association, he loses his church. He has no more right to celebrate Mass, not even privately in his house. His faithful must disperse. So it is a new wave of persecution. Now I'll put it a crude way. With the help of the Holy See at this point, they succeed in destroying all the church. During the 2019 Palm Sunday Mass, Father Peter Zhang Guangzhong, an underground priest of Zhangzhua Diocese, was arrested for serving the faithful. His name is part of a long list of underground clergy who are in prison or who've just disappeared. Bishop Peter Xiao Zhumin of Zhejiang province was arrested five times since 2016 when appointed bishop. Bishop Cosma Shi Enjiang has already spent 51 years behind bars. He was arrested on Good Friday, the 13th of April 2001. Police arrested Bishop Guo in March 2019. He was afterwards released, but banned from celebrating any Mass as a bishop. The bishops and the priests imprisoned for their faith should obtain the freedom and rights they deserve. The protests that have burst out in Hong Kong since June 2019 were in particular due to the Hong Kong government's attempt to pass an extradition bill that united two million Hong Kong citizens to rally against the Hong Kong government and against China in defense of freedom. During the rallies, there were some clashes between the police and protesters, very violent clashes when police used extreme violence with tear gas, rubber bullets, sticks, etc. So the people are asking for an independent inquiry on police violence. We have to say that the Hong Kong population, at least the majority of the population, keeps fighting, continues to rally, also for the principle on which Hong Kong is based, that is, one country, two systems. That is a unique country, China, 
in which Hong Kong has its own system, a liberal system, or Hong Kong becomes another Chinese city with little freedom and few human rights. At St. Teresa Church, it is celebrated the Easter Vigil Mass. Father Altamirano is going to baptize more than 100 new faithful.